In this lecture, we will discuss the different causes of defects. There are two main defect causes, normal causes of defect and environmental causes of defect. First, we will have a look into the normal defect causes. Here, we have six different causes, time pressure, human fallibility, inexperienced and insufficiently skilled people, miscommunication or misunderstanding, complexity of the code, and familiar technologies. The first is time pressure. If you are working in an environment where you are given very little time to complete your tasks, then it is possible that you will overlook certain things that may cause a defect. Second is human fallibility. As humans, we are all fallible, because fallible means likely to make errors or fail. Nobody's perfect after all. The third cause is inexperienced and insufficiently skilled people. If you work in an organization where there are people without sufficient knowledge or required skill set for the project, then it may result in a defect. The fourth cause is miscommunication or misunderstanding. If your organization or team lacks proper channels of communication, this could also lead to defects. The fifth is the complexity of the code, design, and architecture. This means even if you are an experienced, skilled person, if the code is complex, then you might end up making an error. The sixth cause is new, unfamiliar technologies. If you are working with a technology that you don't know enough about, then this can also result in a defect. In the latest syllabus, one more cause is added, and that is misunderstandings about intrasystem and intersystem interfaces, especially when such intrasystem and intersystem interactions are large in number. If you are working on a small part of the big system, there is a possibility that you may not know the intended use of the system, which may result in interface-related issues. Let's move on to environmental causes. The first cause is radiation. Proceedings of radiation can cause a defect. The next one is electromagnetic field. We all know how on flights we are asked to switch off our mobile phones. This is to avoid creating electromagnetic fields which can cause interference. The third one is pollution. If there are dust particles on the sensor, it could result in an error. And similarly, there could be many other environmental causes. Let's summarize all the points. We covered two causes of defects, normal causes of defect and environmental cause of defects. In the syllabus, we have seven normal defect causes, and they are time pressure, human fallibility, inexperienced and insufficiently skilled people, miscommunication or misunderstanding, complexity of the code, unfamiliar technologies, misunderstandings about infrasystem and intersystem interfaces, especially when such intrasystem and intersystem interactions are large in number. And three environmental causes of defect are radiation, electromagnetic field, and pollution.